Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the Bean Team for episode 34. And there's recently been an update which means... Oh yeah, look at this. It does not cost any experience to up and down these ladders. I can do it all day. Look at this. <laughs> okay, well, that's enough of that. That probably looked horrible. I'm sorry if that made any of you feel a bit nauseous. But uh, last episode we started the whole power overhaul thing. We um, like I didn't, we didn't replace anything actually. We started making some steam uh, things. I can't, I can't think of the name of them now actually. We started making some of these steam turbines from Mine Factory Reloaded in replace of our steam dynamos that we have downstairs. And the reason we did that is because the steam turbines run completely off of water, which is pretty ridiculous, but that's how they work. So since last episode, I've set up this little like uh, power dojo type-esque thing out here. Uh, I turned off, I haven't turned you off actually yet. I should probably, uh, they stack now, I'll just leave you in there. Eh, that's fine, you don't have anything to, to harvest so you can, you're doing no harm, you can just stay there running. Um, yeah, I've set up this little power dojo. I've set up all 32 steam uh, turbines that we set up at the end of the last episode. And as you can see, all that you can put in here is, is liquid. And all they do is just create energy. Now, I was quite surprised. This is like one of the few machines that has no wiki on any page ever. So you can't find much out about these things. But uh, I have done some practice. I have done some testing. And they do just produce power from water. So, got all these guys here. And then down underground. However, they do, they do take a lot, about, a lot of water. And that's like the somewhat balanced factor i guess <laughs> but uh, down here we have what i have planned out for my we've got, still got, got a lot of crud here i think what i might do is i've disconnected this this cabling doesn't lead back anymore so this is not going to get any power so what i think i might do is just disconnect this anyway because we don't really need it at the minute um it's this is a link to the um the like breeders and stuff over there and the cows are gone so there's no point having this here just yet uh, I do plan to replace them. I do plan to get the cows back and more animals and stuff. But there's just so much to do, guys. There's so much to do. I even want to look into the witchery mod and some other mods. And there's the flipping guns mods. And there's too much. There's loads of stuff to do. Anyway, <laughs> back on track. What I want to do is I want to have strips of water. And then where you can see strips of dirt are where I plan to have aqueous accumulators. And I want every single one of these blocks of dirt, the ones on the floor, uh, to be an aqueous accumulator. So we are going to need, if my calculations are correct, 120 aqueous accumulators now i don't know if i'm going to get all of those this episode it depends how much like stuff we've got we do have quite a lot of stuff i went mining we've got quite a lot more copper quite a lot more iron uh quite a lot more stuff in general so we might be able to i'm going to take some of these down as well just so it's uh cleans this place up just a little bit and to be honest we can probably get rid of these as well seeing as the uh, machines upstairs are disconnected uh gosh we did we've run a lot of cables a lot of cables I'll leave you there just for fun. Why not? <laughs> okay, so let's go and let's make ourselves as many aqueous accumulators as we can lay our hands on. So, an aqueous accumulator requires buckets, machine frames, and some other shiz. So let's actually have a look. We're also going to need a bunch of fluid hooks as well. Uh, so, aqueous accumulator, machine frame, bucket, server, two tin, and some glass. Now, let's say we want to make... So, we're going to need 120 of these, Okay. That's a lot. That's a real lot. We do have, uh, I don't know, we've got a lot of iron. We've got quite a bit of iron. We don't have, I don't think, quite enough to make 120 aqueous accumulators. Let's start with a stack. Let's try to make a stack of these and see how many we've got, okay? So that's just over half. We're going to have one in like every other slot for now. So we're going to need, the bucket does get used up, I believe. So we're going to need, to start with, 64 buckets, which is, oh my Jesus Christ, that's three stacks of iron right there. Um, um... Okay, let's try half a stack. We'll try half a stack. So that's a stack and a half of iron. Just to, straight off the bat, just for all those buckets. It's a stack and a half of iron. Do we have any buckets lying about? Do we happen to have like 100 buckets? No, we've got six. We'll just leave those there. Not much point in messing those guys around. These only stack in 16s, which is kind of a pain. But we've got 32 there, which is nice. Glass, we've got 64. Of, that's okay. Uh, machine frames. Okay, can we make 32 machine frames? Let me dump some stuff away to begin with because we've got quite a lot of junk in our chest now um, from like building that base and stuff. So we'll get rid of you and you and you and you guys here. Don't really need the hardened ones anymore because we're going to produce, hopefully, more than the hardened ones can carry. So we have, I've got, I'm going to make some redstone energy conduits uh, to transfer the power back and forth. So let's take you. Might as well take all this iron because we're probably going to end up using all of it. Um, possibly. Can we make machine frames? We need more than 16. Is gold our limit in fact there? No, it's glass. Okay, so we're going to need more glass. I do think we have more glass. We do. Good stuff. I'll just take it all for now because I'm probably going to need more later on in the episode. We're also going to need a bunch of pneumatic servos, so a bunch of redstone and more glass. <laughs> and also, was that tin? Tin. Okay. Take tin. Here we go. 
Okay, let's try this again. More machine frames. We need 16 more, right? There we go. And then next, we're going to need servers. Uh, how many of these are we going to need? 32 as well, isn't it? So what have we run out of there? Please don't tell me it's iron. It's glass again. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go grab ourselves some more sand. Uh, do we have any sand? Do we have any sand lying about places? Sand? What happens if I click on it? Sand? Nope. We have saw sand, but not good sand. Do we have any down here? We used to have a, a chest. Now it's just got I like 12 odds and dirt. <laughs> okay, well forget that. Our pig's still hard at work, one of them anyway. I don't know where the rest of them have gone. Uh, the hats seem to reset every time I log in and log off because occasionally that pig's on the treadmill has a hat on and sometimes it just doesn't. So let's go grab some sand. Do we have our shovel? We do. Good stuff. Let's go grab that guy. I was mining earlier on and I'm pretty sure in like Attack of the Bee Team, diamonds spawn more than anything else. Uh, like I was looking around for iron. I was like, okay, I need iron. I need copper. I need a bit of tin and uh, all that stuff. And I'm looking around and I'm just finding diamonds and diamonds and diamonds. I'm like, I don't need diamonds. I've got like loads of them. I think I'm pretty sure I've got over a stack of diamonds now downstairs, which is just flipping ridiculous. Gosh, okay, so that might be enough sand, maybe. How much we got? Uh, 39. I always end up having a lot more sand than I think I have. I feel like I've got like 25 sand. And then I look at my inventory and I've got like a stack and a half. So it's like, okay, maybe it's because it mines so fast. Uh, we'll get a stack. There we go. Should be good enough. I'm just going to teleport home because... Because lazy. Okay, can we just throw you in there and you'll get stuff done? Good. Okay, so we can make 18 for now, I guess. Can we make 18? No, we're going to need flipping more glass, aren't we? <laughs> we need two glass per aqueous accumulator. Oh my gosh, it's going to take some time. Okay, how much cobblestone do we have? Quite a lot. Let's take, I don't know, 128 cobblestone. Because what we can do is we can put the cobblestone in the pulverizer, which at the moment is set to automatically output to this guy, the redstone furnace. So if we do that, he should auto output to there. Uh, by the way, the, the cobblestone pulverizer into sand. So we can get a bunch more glass doing that. Let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. And that should be good to go. Now we are going to need a shizwa ton of fluid duct as well. I forgot the word there for a second. But let's make ourselves, don't know why that's turned off, fluid ducts. Now, how many are we going to need? 60? 90? 90 should be good. We'll take 90. Why not? Okay, so we've got 90 of those guys. We've got our Aquarius accumulators, our Aquarius accumulators in the work. <laughs> and now, let's grab the hardened glass. I've been preparing hardened glass, and I've been preparing... I can't speak! Jesus! And I've been preparing Electrum as well. Got two stacks of stuff, gosh. And now we should be able to make ourselves some conduits. Now, is it hardened glass in the middle? I hope it is, because we've got a lot of Electrum. It is. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> We're probably going to never need three stacks of um, of these, but oh well, we've got three stacks now. Uh, I've, this is um, a stack of redstone has been destabilized using the magmatic crucible. And does it take one? Oh, it takes two, so we're going to get 32 from that, so we're going to need probably another stack of redstone. Let's uh, start on that. How much redstone do we have? We're running out of... Oh, Jesus, look at this. Almost a stack of diamonds. We're running out of redstone, which is pretty alarming. We had, like, far too much of it to use not so long ago, but now we're just tearing through the stuff. So this is producing a sand, glass, good. How much do we have? 22, we'll take it all. I want it all, and I want it now. So we're gonna take all you guys, thank you so much. Let's make let's make a few, let's make 12 accuracy accumulators for now. I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff to do its business and we will come back and get some more in a second. We can get this thing up and running though, we can start doing stuff. Let's go outside and see if we can make magic happen. So actually we are gonna need more buckets it's okay we have buckets everything is good uh yeah. oh i did i turned off pools flipping updates turning stuff back on you know it's such a pain such a pain now let's go grab some water i'm just gonna grab two buckets of water and then we should be able to make an unlimited sauce let's give it to you who needs you so yeah we'll set up an unlimited sauce and then we'll just work from there and we should be pretty good okay we really need to repopulate this thing. We had a whole plan to, like, automate the production of the veterinary station stuff, the injections, but it never, it never came to anything. Okay, right. So, let's say we just go for now, like, I don't know, here, 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 and here. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. We've got 12. So then if I do it here, 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 
and here. That's 10, and we'll just we'll set up these first 10 and see how well we can start doing. So there, there, we'll put you on there. We might have to, probably gonna have to actually remove you. Sorry about that, my friend. We'll put one guy there, 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 there. I did aim a bit too high, I think, with 120 accuracy accumulators. We would need an absolute shizwa ton of iron to do that. <laughs> we, we just like barely had enough iron bucket, like iron to make the buckets that we had, never mind uh, all the ones I wanted. So we should just be able to do something like this. Nope, not like that, like this. And then this should be unlimited. Yeah, okay, so we just do this, this, and this, and this, and this. And this should give us a nice unlimited amount of water. Now let's plug that up because that's not going to be good. Water going other places is not what we want. Let's do you. And then let's start over here because why not? I think we only have to do it every like other one because then it'll just create unlimited sources uh, like it was doing before. So the aqueous accumulators are filling up. I really do like these machines. They run without power, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just, uh, let's put some cobblestone there. It's fine. We just don't want uh, gaps in our system. We will take you, to you, to you, to you. There we go, that's that side done. We will do this side, and then what I'll do is I'll go and cable up upstairs. So, we'll just start off with this one strip for now and see how it goes. So we're gonna want redstone energy conduits along the top of all of these, because I'm gonna assume that the whole thing is gonna produce more than 400 uh, redstone flux per tick, uh, hopefully, maybe. So let's take you. The middle is here, and as you can probably not see actually, what I'm going to do, I don't know, the, the, the cables before came over here, and you can see the, the bite, they went across here. So if we have cables coming along like this, do we want to just connect them up outside? Do we just want to put them through the rain? Yeah, why not? We'll just have our cables going through the rain. Not recommended um, at home, kids. Don't try this at home. Uh, just because I like things being central, I'm going to like do this. Just because this is <laughs> this is central in the room, so I don't know. It kind of looks it looks terrible. I might <laughs> I might rewire between episodes, but that's fine for now. Let's run under here, and then under here, round up and across, and we'll bring you along. And as you can see, I've disconnected most of the item ducts. Uh, oh gosh, we're out of stuff. Okay, disconnected most of the item ducts. Most things are off. How flipping heck? We're running out of gosh. These things are expensive, like redstone wise. They use a lot more redstone than uh, than you think. Let's go down, but I think we're not going to need that much, that many of them. I don't know. Depends if we manage to hook all these guys up anytime this episode. Uh, and then I've used like covers to cover everything else up. So now we should just be able to put this as an input to you. Actually, how are you doing on power? You're like on full power. What I might do is just to uh, like stress test this a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is turn on the lava fabricator. If we can turn you on. I know that you drain power like no one's business. So, oh, are you losing energy? Why? Oh, no, you're not losing energy. You're just, you're just working. So, if that's the case, you should be losing power, maybe. And you're not. Why? Why, why, why? We should probably replace these with them. Um... Yeah, look, he's kind of losing power just a little bit. Oh, so this thing takes one, it, it, it like the idle tick starts, but then it never actually goes again. I thought it was going to be like it ticks, 200 ticks, and then it starts, it produces a little bit of lava, 200 ticks later, but that's not the case. It just, um, once it ticks over, it'll just continually produce lava, it seems. So how are you doing? Doing okay. I'm going to disconnect this just so that these guys stop giving it power, so it should start losing power. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to see how much power these other guys generate, and if they've got like any decent amount of power, which I hope they do. And if not, we can just uh, make more of them, <laughs> because... They are pretty much free power. So let's head on back downstairs. Let's grab our fluid ducts and let's start hooking these guys up now. I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be enough liquid. I don't think even one's going to be enough to fill one of these. Um, no, as you can see, look, it's got one aqueous accumulator hooked up to it and it has nowhere near enough water to fill it up. Now, if we connect up a second to this, uh, to this same one, I'm not going to connect up the, uh, the one in the middle. I'm just going to connect this guy up. I bet it's still not enough water to keep it full. Um, oh no, okay, maybe it is. Okay. So maybe two aqueous accumulators to each one um, steam turbine. So maybe we need 64 total because we have um, a total at the minute of 32 steam turbines. So if we say 64 aqueous accumulators would be enough um, to do that. Now we're only producing 32, so at the minute we're producing sort of like one per thing, but that should be fine. So if I hook two of you up, are you going to start losing water again? You are, okay. 
So we don't have like the desired amount at the moment, but it's fine. We should have pretty soon, hopefully, or within a few episodes, maybe. Because uh, I think I'm gonna have to mining, I have to go mining yet again to get some more of that stuff to make this stuff work. So we'll hook you up. We will hook you up like this. Uh, I can take you down because you do not need to be there. And let's go see. Let's go see are we producing power. Probably still losing it because that lava generator is pretty. Uh, pretty intensive but uh, we might be who knows we'll find out are we we are losing power okay but if i disconnect this side are we going to start if, oh, if i just turn this to an output are we gaining power now no we are still losing power from somewhere if I, nope nope we're still losing power from somewhere uh, if i turn that off as well okay so it does work we do gain power uh, what was coming out to the right was it is it what? Um. Oh, okay. Maybe this was just an output for no apparent reason. Uh, let me put you back down. I think this is the wrong way around. Cause I think if I do this, yes, yeah, it's, it's the other side. So uh, this one's actually doesn't really matter. We can turn that one off. This one's the one that's draining the power and stuff. So uh, with the lava fabricator on, we are not losing, not gaining power. If I turn the lava fabricator off, and it stops using energy. Then are we losing power? No, but I think that's pretty much because oh no, you, you, you can handle the basic machines. But anyway, we're gonna turn this back on. I wanna, I wanna push this thing to the limits. I wanna test this. I wanna make sure it works. Now, I think there is something you can um, get from thermal expansion that allows you to check how much power is coming through pipes. And I'm pretty sure it's this thing here, the multimeter. So if we get an electrum gear, which is what iron electrum, okay, two lead, okay, so a lot of electrum, a lot of redstone, and not too bad. Lead and copper, I think it was. So that, we can put some of you guys away for now. We're going to have to come back uh, and get you in a second when we make some more. But we might just be able to make some of this stuff. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, why have we got... Why did we pick out rubies? <laughs> okay, we don't need rubies. I'm not quite sure what rubies can be even used for. But uh, apparently the other thing from Biomes of Plenty will take you. And we'll take one of you, not 15. And we should be able to take one of you. So now, I think if we sort of um, right click on something with this, it'll tell us how much power is going through it. Um, average distribution, zero. <laughs> okay. Um, 20, zero, 380. All right, okay, so it's telling us how much. So apparently nothing, no power is going to this, and that's fair enough because that's not working. And uh, no power should be going to this. Nope. And then some power is going to this, 20. But this thing is much more intensive. This thing's taking 380. Uh, do they work on these? It just tell us water. Yeah, okay, water, throughput 120 millibuckets per second. Okay, let's go outside and see if it can tell us like how much power has been generated by this thing. So if I just right click on, say, this one. Oh, oh I thought we crashed, but <laughs> no, fine. Uh, network saturation, 2%. Um, does that mean 2% of 10,000? Does that mean that we're getting like, what? Um, 2,040 Minecraft joules per tick at the moment, maybe? Is 42% of 10,000? I think so. Maybe. Is that what, what that means? Does that mean what I said? <laughs> Let's go check. Uh, actually, probably a good way to uh, to check this is... It doesn't tell us how many... No, okay. Let's see if we can check how much is coming through you guys. Where do you go down? You go down... Oh, flip back in the awkwardest place ever. Uh, can we sort of like squeeze in there? Oh, network saturation 100%. Uh, I think the only reason that is there is because um, this guy has stuff to get rid of. So if I make that an input, the lava fabricator is still on, but uh, we are getting power. And now if I give this a check, it might tell me uh, a more accurate reading. Let's have a look. Can I uh, please? I kind of want to reach that one there. 59, 56, 54, 53, 51, 52. Um, so these guys, what are these producing? 80 redstone flux per tick, I assume. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Energy stored, energy produced, 80 redstone flux per tick. So there's 10 of these, 80 redstone flux per tick. These guys should be producing 800 redstone flux per tick, which is like just under 50% of, uh, of saturate. Oh, no, it's not. It's nowhere near that, is it? It's about 10%, just under 10%. It's actually 8% uh, of saturate. Is that right? Gosh, my my maths is being challenged today, and my maths on the go even even worse. Let's have a look. Um, 
Is this thing full now? <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. So, um, I think that's about right. I think we just take a percentage of, um, say, 10,000. So, 2% of 10,000. These guys are producing power. Not a massive amount, but I think that's um, twofold. I think it's A, because it's free power, and B, because they pretty much have no water in them at any given time. If we uh, do a reading again. Um, oh, 50. I'll see these are stacking up now as well, just because the uh, the redstone energy thing's full. So, these guys do store power, and then when, they, when all the conduits are full... Um, it'll probably uh, stop and these will probably start getting water again, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, look, it's... Uh... I don't know why this one... Are these sort of just like... Oh, okay, so they're gradually filling up from this end, uh, I think. Are these this one going to start filling up? No. No. Okay, I'm not too sure why these guys are full and that one's not. Maybe this... Uh, actually... Maybe this pipe's filling in. No, I don't know. But uh, what I think is going to happen is... Uh, I think they're all going to... Oh, no, it's because these ones aren't connected. Oh, no wonder. I'm just connecting up two of them and wondering why it's not. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So if we do this, we should. And we should probably go disconnect the other one so we're losing some power. So we can get somewhat of an accurate reading. Let's go have a look. And do, 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 do. we could really do with like a portal to like, I don't know, somewhere outside. Just for speed's sake. I mean, it's not too big of a deal. We can fly backwards and forwards. It's not that bad. But uh, it would be nice for just like ease of access. So let's break you. You should start going down in power, maybe. Maybe not. Oh no, it might not go down in power for a while because all of those conduits are full, but it should definitely start going down pretty soon. So we'll let you do that. Let's fly back outside to our stuff out here. And let's see, do we have... So all these now are getting sort of like... Uh, okay, so for some reason these guys are sort of staying... You're definitely losing water, you're definitely losing water, and then... Okay, so it was just taking time, they were just... Okay, they're, they're all going to end up at this state where they just sort of bits of water but not not an overly large amount so these guys are all pretty saturated at the minute they are going to go down slowly 98 and then i assume in a second 97 yeah so they are going down slowly to fill the thing up but um yeah there you go free power so what i think i'm going to do is between this episode and next i'm going to a try make some more aqueous accumulators because we need a few more b i'm going to put them all down here uh, because we need these guys filled up and i'm going to try get 64 i'm going to try get 64 aqueous accumulators so we can keep all of these guys upstairs full uh, I'll put the water down the middle of these so that all of these guys have water. I'll hook them all up with red energy conduits. I'm doing a lot between episodes, aren't I? And then we will uh, come back next episode. We'll see how much power it's actually giving out. Uh, I'll figure out if I'm right with the percentage thing and if I'm calculating things even somewhat mildly accurately. And we'll see if all this works. And if so, guys, I think we've got ourselves a nice, uh, not the greatest, but a nice uh, free source of power, which is pretty cool. So as long as we don't run the lava fabricator like 24 by 7, we'll probably always have... A decent amount of power and even if we do run this guy pretty much all the time we should look at this it's still full on power and if we can take these guys back up and start pumping some of this five well just under six thousand charcoal back out because that's what i plan to do i plan to get some item ducts i think most of us sent back but what i plan to do is just grab some item ducts uh do this grab a servo uh do this uh pull out uh it's not gonna let me there we go uh pull out like ignored pull out so that it just pulls that charcoal all the time and then distributes them between the steam dynamos i'll probably just put like a little loop in so it comes all the way around back around and then back into the, the oh maybe that yeah i think i might do that i think i might put covers on here so it goes back down into the storage system a little loop so it just checks every so often to see if these guys are full on charcoal but uh yeah thanks for watching if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit like and i will see you guys next time Bye bye